Hey everyone, so we got Jerry here right now. He is actually milling up a bunch of the, the burls and logs we have. And Jerry, tell him what you're gonna be doing, man. What's this setup you got? All right, so I got a Husky 3120. It's the biggest saw they make, it's 120 cc's. And it's a five foot bar on it. And it can handle pretty much everything I've thrown at it. Uh, we actually had to trim this burl to make it fit though. <laughs> so it, it has a 52 inch throat which is just incredible that this walnut burl is that big, but it is. And I can't wait to see what's inside. Yeah. There's just been some gold missing, but it looks amazing. So uh, this is probably one of the, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely gonna make the highlight list of some of the coolest stuff I've ever milled before. Oh, that's so sweet. We kinda, it was kind of a fluke how we even yeah. found you, hey? Yeah, totally. Like you were- Just driving by. I was coming back from delivering a, ca a table out to Kelowna. Remember that yeah, one? Yeah, the blue one. Table? Yeah, the blue one. And I was on my way back. I was trying to get back to Sycamuse and I had a hotel booked in Sycamuse to stay there in the night on the way back. And uh, coming back, I went by the place called Enderby and there's this sawmill off the side of the road with a bunch of big logs and the odd straggler wandering around the place like Jerry there with a five foot chainsaw <laughs> in the back pocket, in his back pocket. And I thought I better pull in and say hi. So I chatted with them. And then in the end, we ended up touching base and Jerry's come to help us uh, cut our pearls up. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah cause we've, we've had these pearls for like three, four, about three, four years. Three, four I think. years. Yeah. And they've all just been sitting up in that container basically until now we haven't just like, waiting for it. we're just yeah. waiting we're waiting for a guy like jerry but that's what he's done so far see we got a few yeah. nice walnut pearl rounds we got some maple there now and he's just about to crack into the biggest pearl we have almost five feet in diameter so let him take it away so what i'm doing here is i'm tacking the ladder back on and what i try to do is i try to get the screws to go in off to the side so at least you're not hitting the face of the wood. I kind of Swiss cheese the ladder so there's holes all over the place and you just <laughs> wiggle it around until they all line up on the edges and then you sink your screws down. You do want to make sure that whatever you're working on is extremely stable and it's not going to move because when this thing's actually running, you don't really have too much time to react and you do not want this thing to come down on your saw. Like it's not good for it, right? This, everything has to stay nice and perfect and true. You want to make sure that you keep it as, po as, as straight as possible. Yeah. And, you know, having a log fall on it's not going to help. No, that wouldn't be good. So, I'm sure you put this thing to the test. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I've cut through a lot of interesting stuff. You'd be amazed when you find inside wood, like sprinklers, conduit <laughs> what? piping. Yeah, yeah, I found really? a sprinkler in there. I missed it, thankfully, but the tree opened up and there's this little petrified little sprinkler in there. Uh, well. Once Jerry's done these burls out here, tomorrow the plan is all of these. How many's in there? Oh wow! Wow! Look at this one. So you basically screw this thing down then and it's your your track for the saw to run along? Yeah, so it's, uh, I mean, for one, it's a ladder. It's perfectly flat and level. Yeah. I mean, it looks rough, but it's still actually in pretty reasonable shape for straightness. So yeah, I use it for, uh, the, the main thing is the entry and exit. As you're yeah. trying to start, there's no way you're gonna hold your mill perfectly. So you're gonna be ruining the first six inches or so of the wood as you try and get it to go straight. So right. I use it to, to level it. First thing, I put the ladder on the log and that way even an oblong shaped log like this, you can still get a nice straight entry and exit yeah. and it slides along the metal so well. Yeah, so, it looks like it. Yeah, totally. So it's, it works. And then as even after you cut this and once it's flat, you yeah. still want to have a nice flat surface because otherwise you get these little ripples and they compound. Yeah. So, you know, if you just basically, uh, ran the mill right along the top of here and you have a little ripple well the yeah. next time you're going to get more of a ripple and more and it just keeps on adding oh up. so it actually kind of compound it every yeah it like can that. so if you put the ladder on there it keeps it perfectly flat every single time it keeps your cuts as good as they can be i mean it's a right. chainsaw uh -huh. like honestly when this one came over i was like yeah now i'm like Woo Look at that, man. Oh, man, like just some of the colors, like, oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a cool one. The next piece, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's sweet. And then we'll... Go. Now, 
this is not all of the burls we've cut up. There's more over there. Jerry's still milling more up. But now that we've got them like this, all of these slabs still have a, a really high moisture content to them. Um, sorry about the noise. I'll just talk really loud. Hopefully you guys can hear me. So they're all right now probably around like 30 to 40% moisture content. And that is just way too high to do what we need to do with them. So like you can even, when I put my hand on this, I can literally feel that it's damp and you can kind of see some of the sections that are more wet. So when you're drying walnut, uh, even though it's wet right now, you wouldn't want to put it straight in the kiln just yet. The best thing to do with walnut is to actually let it air dry with stickers. So by stickers, I just mean like all of these little sticks that are between there. You want to leave it on sticks like this just to air dry for probably about two to three months. Uh, what that will do, it'll let a majority of the moisture get out so that when you do put it in the kiln, it won't crack as much. Um, if you were to put these slabs straight in the kiln, what would likely happen is you would get like checks like this except all the way through. So instead of this crack only being like two inches, it would likely go all the way through the slab. And you know, drying things too quickly is a really easy way to kind of wreck wood. So we're gonna let them air dry for two to three months and then finish them off in the kiln for probably another three months. And six months from now, we should have usable walnut lumber. So we'll, we'll be sure to update you guys on that, you know, as that process kind of goes through. But we are really excited to start building some furniture from these. That was what, like four solid days? Yeah. Four solid days of milling. It's, it's <laughs> Thursday now and it's finally done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah double that holy. Yeah. Jay look around, there's a lot of milling happened here. There's a lot. Jerry just, he killed it on this. Like we had 30,000 pounds of burls. It was 30,000. And Brad, and Brad, he's helping out too, right? 30,000 pounds of burls and these two guys got it all done in four days. So now we got to dry it. Uh, but it was lots of fun, hey? Oh yeah. Hard work, I bet. Yeah, hard work, but well worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Like. And you said that the saw was kind of giving you a little bit of grief here today, oh, I mean, eh? It's got a personality, just like anything else, right? Yeah. I mean, it, sometimes it works beautifully well and sometimes it doesn't. Today, she was definitely protesting. <laughs> she was done yesterday, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, aside from a few issues with some chains and such, I mean, it, it actually did really well. Yeah. I mean, man, that was like, what, 40 hours of solid milling? Like, it seriously. Was, man. 40 <laughs> hours of milling, just straight over four days, so. Yeah. We're stoked. You know, we couldn't be more grateful that Jerry was willing to come out here. Um, but now, like I said, we're taking these to, to the kiln, so the next time you guys probably see these is going to be when they're coming out of the kiln. So stay tuned for that video. Probably won't be for like six months. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this week. We really enjoyed showing you guys this process. Enjoyed spending our week with Jerry. And subscribe for next week. We have videos every Friday. See ya.